Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the Yotpo Shopify app, which is all about sending out emails for reviews and getting reviews on recent orders for your site. So I'm in the back end of Shopify currently, and I am on the apps page. So on the left hand side, hit apps. And these are my current apps that I have installed. And so to go and install this one, we are just going to hit visit Shopify app store. And in the search box, I'm going to type in Yotpo. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the app, you can play their video here, but it has a lot of really cool functionality. So there are different pricing plans where things are included. However, with their forever free plan, you have the ability to automatically send customers emails after they've purchased and request and review right from their email inbox. So it makes it so much easier for them to actually review your products because they're not having to click in and go to your site to review it. They're able to do that right on their email. So you can see an example of it here. And so it makes it really, really easy to submit a review. And that way, hopefully you get more reviews on your product, which increases that social proof. You can also see that you can embed it on your site and have the star ratings, which the star ratings are also picked up by Google. So that'll show up in the Google feed that it has these stars. And we'll also come in here. Another great thing of the free plan is that you can actually uh, respond to the reviews. So you can either respond to them publicly or privately. And so if someone posted a concern in their review or an issue with their product, you can contact them either privately or for everyone else to see so that you can get that taken care of and make sure that they are a really satisfied customer. And this is a really cool functionality that a lot of the Shopify review apps do not have. So I did a previous video for the free Shopify reviews and how to embed that on your site. However, with that one, it doesn't have this functionality of commenting back and it doesn't have the functionality of sending the customer an email asking them for that review. So there is a little bit additional functionality that you're getting. And again, this is where I said about the star rating on Google. So there are other things that it includes and then their higher plans include things like turning a review into a Facebook ad. However, we're just gonna be installing the free version today. So to add this to our site, we're just gonna hit get. And this is taking us back to the back end of our Shopify store. And we're just going to hit install app to approve that it can manage these details. And now we have to go in and create an account. And we just started, so I'm gonna just say zero to 150 orders and one to 10 employees. So now we are in the Yotpo back end and we're gonna go through customizing all of this. However, if we go back to our Shopify app store and I'm gonna refresh the page, you can see that it is added in here. So we can get back to this at any time by just going to apps and then clicking on it here. So you can get in and change these settings anytime that you want, but let's go back to the Yotpo installation. So we want to make sure that we have this mail after purchase because this is a great thing to actually incorporate additional reviews that a lot of times you weren't going to get on your site. So we can also keep it if you were already selling products online with your Shopify store to retroactively send to previous purchases as well. So we can come in here and change this text up. However, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna say, we'll put our name here. And let's see. So you could change this text and have it say whatever you want. So we're gonna make it a little bit more customize so 
So I'm going to say... Okay, so you've recently bought product and we would love to know what you think about it. Change that. And again, this is gonna be an email right here on the right hand side. So they're gonna get this in their inbox and they don't have to click to your site. They can instantly give it a star rating, a title and a review right there and hit submit review. And it's gonna instantly then be able to be added to your site. So now we'll hit customize widget. And we want it to be auto published on site. So you could choose to take that off and approve it manually. However, we're gonna keep that for now. For our primary color, so I know my hex code, so I'm just gonna be typing this in. However, if you weren't sure about your hex code, you can go in and you can select it from in here. Okay, and then the star color. And these are just my branding colors on the site, just so everything is consistent. Okay, and I'm gonna hit, so you can see how this is looking again over here, and I'm gonna hit integrate. So you have three different ways to install this on your site. You could either do automatic installation, manual installation, or email instructions to your web designer. So for the automatic installation, it's really nice if you have a kind of default Shopify theme, you haven't gone in and heavily customized it too much, and you only have one product template. So only one product page design. Um, but you're gonna wanna do the manual installation or the email instructions if you have a really customized site or if you're wanting to include it in a different place on your site. So we're going to include do the manual installation and we're gonna see instructions. So I wanna show you first of where we're wanting to include it. So we'll go to the front end of our site. And so this is tomofit.com, which is our brand that we are creating and doing printing on demand and then showing all the behind the scenes of how we're growing this business on our YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified whenever we put out a new video all about how to grow this online business and we're sharing our numbers behind everything. So let's go ahead and go into one of the products and I'll show you exactly where we're wanting to put this code. So on our product page here, we actually wanna put it a bit below the fold of our reviews. So we're wanting to put it in between these two sections here. So we'll go back to our install area and we're gonna to go to add Yotpo's JavaScript. I'm gonna just click on it here and it lets us copy the code and it says to put it in the theme liquid file in the head section. So I'm gonna make sure that's copied. And I'm gonna go now to the back end of our Shopify store. So to go in and edit your theme, you're going to go to online store. And this is our live theme right here. And instead of customize, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with in terms of editing your theme, we're actually going to edit the code itself. So to do that, we're gonna to go to actions and edit code. So the first file that we're going to edit is right here. It's theme.liquid. So we'll click on that. And it had it showing to do it right after the beginning head tag. So we'll come in here. I'm gonna do it after this metadata. And I'm gonna go down a few times and hit paste, okay? Just scroll over for a minute, make sure that all came in and hit save. Okay, so now let's go back to the app and see what the next step is. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit next. And next is to install the reviews widget. So this is where we wanna display this on our product page, which is that in between section. So I'm gonna hit copy code. And it says we're gonna paste it for in their example, we're gonna paste it on under the last line of code, but we're gonna put it somewhere else on our site. So we're gonna come in here and to edit your product page, you're gonna scroll down a little bit to templates and you're gonna find one that says product.liquid. 
Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down to the area I want to paste it. So if you're knowing where you're wanting to paste it, then you can paste it there. However, if you're not exactly sure, then put it at the bottom and you can go in and move around its placement from there. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. And hit save. And let's go back one more time. And we have one last bit of code. So we're gonna have the install conversion tracking. So it says this lets us understand return on investment from our Yotpo account. So we're gonna copy it. And now we're going to a different area of our backend of Shopify. So we're gonna come in here, back here, and I'm gonna open this in a new tab and go to settings. I'm gonna just right click it. I want to keep this open just so if we do need to move that around and change its positioning or styling, we can do that. And then we're going to go to checkout. I'm going to scroll down here into the box that says additional scripts, which is right here. And now I'm going to paste this code in. Okay. And hit save. We'll go back to the app one more time and say finish installation. So now that we have gone in and installed everything on the site, I'm gonna just click out of that. You can go through that onboarding tutorial if you want. However, you can see here exactly how that's gonna look. Um, and we can customize this email just a little bit more so we can actually include a product photo just to help people remember exactly what it is that they purchased. So here is that message that we typed before, product photo, they can choose the rating, the title, and the review. And we can just hit save. So as you get more reviews added in, you'll start seeing them on the left-hand side. So you can go through these different items and see exactly how the reviews are showing up. Again, we don't have anything right now. However, you can go in and sort them once you get a lot more to go through and sort them by star rating. You can also come in here and change your settings here of exactly how you want people to, what words you want them to be able to say and what words you want to kind of blacklist from your review. So if you instantly want to not include profanity or you don't want to auto publish it, you can change that from here. And you'll also see more items on the left-hand side. So if we click on analytics, we can see here again in terms of your conversion rate of how well it's working for you as well as the reviews and the emails. You'll see if we click on emails, you'd be able to see how often, how many emails are being sent open and reviewed. So you'll kind of see how well people are responding to it and then maybe change your copy based on that as well as content generation for as well as content generation, which has a lot more of the higher priced options that are not really available on the free plan, as well as marketing, which also has some items that are not included on the free plan as well. If we click on some of these, you can see here that you can add a reviews tab or reviews widget to your site. Let's go first though and look at our product page and see exactly how that looks now that we've added that code in. So I'm just going to come in here and hit refresh on our site. So again, this is our product page. So we're, we put it down here below and you can see it here. So here it has the ability to write or review. So you can still have customers write a review directly from your site. However, it is nice to have this email functionality as well. So as you have reviews come in, you'll start seeing them come in here. So if we go back to the Yotpo site, we can see here, um, if we go to integrations, we have a few more things in terms of, you know, we've integrated with Shopify. If you have a higher plan, you can also integrate with other apps as well. So overall, uh, there's not too much that you can see in the back end of this app until you start getting a few reviews and then you can start engaging with them, commenting back to them and, you know, approving them or set them as pending. And so there's a lot of really cool functionality that you can do 
once you start getting these reviews in. So I definitely recommend for you to check out this app. Again, there is a free Shopify app already that's for reviews. However, this one is free as well uh, for a few of the different options and it has additional functionality of emailing your customers directly. So it's really helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you have any questions, make sure to post a comment below this video and we'll make sure to, to help you with that. Also make sure to subscribe to this video to get weekly videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.